When working in an office environment, there are times when you are tasked with creating a flowchart for an important project. You know, a well-structured flowchart can make complex processes more understandable and streamlined. But there's a problem. The traditional way of creating flowcharts through coding can be a real problem. It requires expertise in time and often leads to frustration. You might find yourself in the same situation with endless, often stressful coding sessions. However, there is a better way now in this world filled with technology. Putting this in highlight, we are going to explore how to make a flowchart in this detailed video. We'll discuss this step-by-step -step process of drawing flowcharts with ChatGPT effortlessly without the need for complex coding. So since we're done with this brief introduction, let's head to our first step to learn more about how to make a flowchart. In this video, we will use eDraw Max, an amazing tool that simplifies the process of transforming text into a flowchart. But before we dive into the practical demonstration, let's understand why eDraw Max is the go-to choice for this task. eDraw Max is a feature-rich flowchart tool developed by eDrawSoft to make flowcharts automatically. It's designed to cater to the needs of medium to large size businesses across various industries, including technology, education, and manufacturing. eDraw Max comes in both basic and professional versions, ensuring it fits your budget and functional requirements to create a flowchart with AI. We will now demonstrate how to use eDraw Max to create flowcharts with AI turning text into a visual representation with ease. To make the perfect use of eDraw Max, launch the platform and continue to select blank drawing from the interface that opens. You can click this on the top left of your screen here. On clicking create new, you will be led to a canvas where you have to navigate across the AI section. So if we get AI here, we can then press flowchart on the toolbar at the top and then open the eDraw panel. And then this will open the eDraw AI panel on the right. Well, you learn how to draw a flowchart with GPT and eDraw Max, add in the prompt how a bill becomes a law to create a flowchart. And then upon adding the query, just press enter and an entire flowchart is gonna be created in seconds. So you see right here on the left, after I press enter, it ends up creating this flowchart in a moment, so quick. Now that you have created your AI flowchart using eDraw Max, it's time to take it to the next level by optimizing it for even greater functionality. Flowchart optimization is a necessary step in the process, allowing you to fine tune your flowchart and fill in more information. Let's learn about the key features of flowchart optimization and understand how they can enhance your AI assisted diagramming. As you open the generated flowchart across eDraw Max, continue to the similar AI section that was used to create the particular flowchart. In the case of refining Finding the process details, navigate to the flowchart analysis option from the top of the toolbar, select flowchart optimization according to your requirement to open a panel on the right. The next step for step two here is going to be selecting any of the available options, starting with refine process details. You have to select any of these different options right here. So if I click on this and then click refine process details, you'll have to select a specific flowchart shape on the canvas to proceed with it. Now, once again, if you select supplement logic exception, it gives you more diverse options involving any particular query within the flowchart. On selecting any shape and proceeding with it, eDraw Max AI generates an entire flowchart with more details. Those who look forward to include various processes for improving the entire structure of the flowchart can consider using the add new process option. So once again, click the shape and press add new process. You're gonna select any shape and execute the command, which follows up with a proper query. In this case, you can add something like this. Before the bill is sent to the committee, the bill will be introduced to House and Senate beforehand. And then press enter. And then this will add a new process to the flowchart. So as you see right here, it ends up adding it right here. Flowchart optimization using these features gives your flowchart a power boost. It enhances the overall clarity and functionality, making it a more effective tool for decision making. By refining process details, addressing logic expectations, and effortlessly adding new processes, you're ensuring that your step-by-step -step guide that making bills to law flowchart with ChatGPT remains a valuable asset throughout your project. So step number three is gonna be flow chart detection. So as you continue watching the video, we will now discuss another easy step to perfect your how to make a flowchart query. We will now learn the remarkable capabilities of flowchart detection, which uses eDraw Max AI to provide suggestions and make your flowchart even better. This diagramming tool scans your flowchart to identify 
any potential errors or inconsistencies. This includes checking for missing connections, circular references, or other common flowchart issues. When it detects an issue, it provides a clear suggestion on how to correct it. Further, eDrawMax AI helps you maintain alignment and consistency throughout your flowchart. It ensures that shapes, connectors, and labels are neatly aligned making your flowchart visually appealing and easy to follow. So step one is after you have actually made a complete flowchart using eDraw Max AI. So what you can do is go to flowchart analysis and click on flowchart detection. And then in a moment on the bottom right, as you'll see here after it's done, it gives you the total edits for flowchart detection. Like it reorganized the flowchart to be better representative of the real legislative process. And it added a decision node to represent potential outcomes. And then going into this next section, you can open up the eDraw Max AI's AI chat by clicking this on the top left. And you can provide a query within here to optimize the flowchart and its data according to the topic, which will help users make their diagram proficient. In the fourth step on how to make a flowchart, we are going to learn about the remarkable feature of AI summarization within eDraw Max. This feature allows you to shorten complex and lengthy documents or articles into concise and informative summaries, right? within your flowchart. eDraw Max simplifies this process with its built-in AI summarizer tool. You can use the add file button on the bottom of the AI canvas. See this right here? So you can actually summarize a file by clicking the upload file button. And I can put summarize the entire document. You can see it actually created a list on the canvas here of a summary of all the information within it. As we reach the final step of our flowchart journey, it's time to explore the flowchart description feature which helps you and your audience understand the logic behind how to make a flowchart. If you have created a flowchart and want to explain it to others for presentation purposes, eDraw Max's flowchart description feature is here to assist you. It creates a clear and concise script to guide your audience through the flowchart's logic, even if you draw it in PowerPoint. First, take a moment to understand your generated flowchart thoroughly. This is essential before creating a description. Make sure you're clear about the processes, decision points, and connections within the flowchart. So if we go to and select any of the nodes as well, we can click on a flowchart analysis and then flowchart description. In a moment, this will then go through and create a description based on the entirety of the information from the flowchart. As you can see, it describes that based on the given content, it appears that the process described in the flowchart is related to the legislative process in a parliamentary or congressional system. And then it goes through the rest of these, uh, including the step-by-step -step process, which is really cool. Now I have all the information as to what the flowchart is about in a nice concise, for concise format that can be easily copied out to text as well. Now, when it comes to creating a script for your topic, you can consume the mind map AI feature of eDraw Max. Look for mind map option on the top toolbar and provide a query against your topic. So if I click on the mind map drawing mode on the top left here, I can then provide a specific query within there against the topic to create a brainstorming environment. In this final part of our video on how to make a flowchart using eDraw Max's powerful features, we're gonna explore how flowchart templates can make a significant difference in business group setting. eDraw Max offers a variety of templates to streamline different aspects of business. Along with the nine available flowchart templates, we will glimpse how helpful using AI for data flow diagrams is. From a basic flowchart to a data flow diagram, there are different flowchart templates to look out for. eDraw Max also offers a cross-functional flowchart for displaying interaction between different departments. You can also find the BPMN template, which is highly related to modeling and improving business processes. Along with that, the event flow diagram, IDEF diagram, and SDL diagram are some other prominent templates available for business purposes. As we have reached the end of the video, we have explored how to make a flowchart with AI effortlessly using eDraw Max. Simplifying what was once a complex task, we introduced you to the amazing eDraw Max interface and highlighted its user-friendly features. With ChatGPT integration, you can turn text into visual flowcharts, making decision-making more accessible using this AI flowchart tool. Thank you for being a part of this video, and we look forward to helping you even more with other eDraw Max AI based videos. Till then, stay tuned for updates to learn how to simplify your work and help you achieve your goals in our other videos.